What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using yet another off meta team for ranked regulation F, this time featuring Choice Band Lucario and Cornerstone Ogre Pond. Now, Lucario, one of the dopest Pokemon to ever be released in Pokemon. It's just super cool, and I feel like everybody loves it. So anytime I see a rental team with this Pokemon on it, most of the time, I'm like, yeah, we're gonna use this one. Because again, this Pokemon is so fun to use and just looks so dope at the same time. But well, the first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview is going to be that Cornerstone Ogre Pond in the top left hand corner. It's got Sturdy alongside with a great move set of Ivy Cudgel, Power Whip, Follow Me, and Spike Shield. Love this Pokemon, it can hit hard, plus it can get a speed boost if you Terrastalize and put its mask on. Our second Pokemon is going to be Iron Moth. Now Iron Moth, really really dope, especially with this move set right here. You got Cork Drive, you got the Power Herb, and with the Power Herb, you can use Meteor Beam in one turn, getting that special attack boost, and then picking up big time damage with other moves such as Heat Wave and Sludge Drive. So, love this Pokemon, cannot wait to showcase it using Meteor Beam. In our third slot is going to be that Choice Ban Lucario. With Inner Focus, Close Combat, Meteor Mash, Bullet Punch, and Extreme Speed, absolutely love this move set. You got your stab moves, you got your first turn priority moves, and then you got the Choice Ban just to boost all the damage. We love it. In our 4th and 5th slot, we got the Trick Room users, it is going to be Cresselia and Ursaluna. I should say Guts Ursaluna because Guts Ursaluna is so much stronger than regular Ursaluna. But Cresselia is rocking Levitate with Safety Goggles, Ice Beam Alice with Trick Room and Lunar Blessing, great little support moveset. Then Ursaluna is just there to do big time damage with Facade, EQ, Sword Stance, and Protect. Our final Pokemon is going to be Primarina. Love this Pokemon so much, very very solid with a great typing. It's got Liquid Voice with Third Spray. Hyper Voice, Moonblast, Aqua Jet, and Protect. Nothing you guys haven't seen before on a Primarina. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match with this Choice Band Lucario team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and we're going up against a Grassy Seed Sneasler team that is going to be pairing up with Wilbur. So we got to watch out for that combo right there. Along with that combo, they also have Whimsicott Fluttermane and then Ursa Luna and Ursa. So I'm thinking we can bring in Trick Room Squad if we want to, or we can just go all four of the non Trick Room, program, right? I feel like that can work out pretty well. But they do have a Tailwind user, which is Whimsicott. So we might want to bring in Cresselia Ursa Luna just as back end Pokemon. And that might work really well for us, right? That could be really good for us because if we lead a Pokemon maybe like Iron Moth early on here. Maybe go for Meteor Beam. It is a fast Pokemon too. And Lucario could be nice. That's something I like because we can't be faked out there. So I'm going to go into both of these guys. And do I have Protect on you? I do. So that's good. So I'm going to go Iron Moth Lucario. And then in the back end, just go Crest Earth Luna. And look to just win the game with those two, right? Try to get off some big time KOs with Iron Moth and Lucario. And then in the back end, roll out with Trick. I'm, I'm so with it. I'm so with it. And if they do lead Whimsicott, I think we might just hard swap somebody into like Cresselia because we're going to allow them to set up the Tailwind and then maybe just try to cancel out the Tailwind. So we'll see. And it is going to be Sneasler and Rillaboom. So Sneasler and Rillaboom come out here. I don't mind it too much. I mean, I got the choice ban. Iron Moth is pretty fast too. And we might just want to protect the Iron Moth here because of, you know, fake out. So let's see. He's going to grassy seed up. Sneasler is now ridiculously fast. And we have to watch out for that Pokemon. Ridiculously fast. I do have the normal terror type if I want to go into E speeds here. And E speeds isn't a bad play here. As much as I want to go into like a close combat or something, E speed is just actually really good here. So I think our best bet would just to be go normal type and then pop E speed and then just protect this Pokemon right here just in case the fake out wants to fly into the slot. So that's going to be my play. I'm going straight normal terror. I'm not playing around with Lucario. And we're looking to get off some big time E speed damage. So let's do it. I do have Sludge Wave, which is awesome. And the good thing about Lucario is it, it is Steel type, so Sludge Wave wouldn't affect it if I wanted to use it next to it. But in this case, I'm going to Terrasalize and Choice into E Speed. So the Fake Out is going to fly into the slot, which is perfect. E Speed should do a big chunk of damage here. And if it doesn't KO, we can always just KO next turn because it's going to get a uh, priority over Grassy Glide and everything. And this thing's just going to go for a Bulk Up. So Bulk Up's going to fly. He's flying with bulk up, and I might try to sacrifice my Lucario here. I might sacrifice my Lucario. I just might. I just might. But I'm going to go for another E-Speed here. And honestly, let's go for Heat Wave instead of Sludge Wave. 
makes more sense because Sneasler could protect here and it could be a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to go for E speed. I'm going to go for Heat Wave now. He is not going to protect the Sneasler. And can we pick up the KO? We do. So Sneasler gone. It's gone. Good idea for us to actually choice into that E speed and just tackle onto that, uh, tackle onto that Sneasler. So big time damage onto the Robin from the Iron Moth. We got some speed cooking here. And he's going to be able to eat up a Citrus Berry and get some HP back. And he's just going to go for a knockoff and take off for Choice Ban. So now I can actually go into any other move I want to. Okay, so my Choice Ban gone. Heat Waves out speeds Robin, which is nice. Um, We might want to swap Lucario here, to be honest. Swapping Lucario could be good, because if I had to guess, he's probably going into like a Grassy Glide. To look to just pick up a KO onto that. And if I could swap into, say, like Cresselia here... I can maybe pop trick him and really get rolling. Yeah, because Whimsicott's here. Now's a perfect turn. Now is a perfect turn to swap into you. So I'm going to go into Crest here. I am just going to pop another Heat Wave because two Grass-type Pokemon are on the field. And we'll save Lucario for later. So if I had to guess, probably Tailwind's going to fly out here, which I would love. And maybe a Grassy Glide? We'll see. Let's swap it to the Crest, and there's the Tailwind. So great call for us to bring Crest in the back end. We love it. And I got low battery, man. I'll charge after this match. I'll charge after this match. It's whatever. So he takes off my power herb. I'm not really too worried about the power herb. And we're gonna pop a heat wave, which is pretty much just winning us this game, right? It is pretty much just winning us the game. That's fine. Rillaboom, gone. Whimscott down to one HP. We're gonna force a trick room here. We're just gonna protect the Iron Moth, and I think we just win this game no problem. Depending on who they bring out. What a solid first match for us so far. E-Speed Lucario killing it, helping us out tremendously. Ooh. Now, do we want to pop Trick Room? Do we want to pop Trick Room? How slow is this Ur this Ursaluna? Yeah, we want to pop Trick Room. Our Ursaluna would be great. Plus, they have Tailwind up. So, I'm going to go Trick Room here. I am just going to stay on the field. I'm just going to try to rip a Heat Wave here. Look to just get rid of Whimscott. They do have Tailwind up, so... We might as well. We might as well just uh, just start attacking and pop the Trick Room. Yeah, because once we pop the Trick Room, we'll have two turns. Chances are one of my Pokemon die out here, such as the Iron Moth. And Endeavor is going to come out here, which is actually crazy. Actually crazy Endeavor came out here. I was not expecting that. Heat Wave's going to fly here. Who just dodged it? Whimsicott dodges it. Yeah, we lost. After playing a ridiculously good match, we're gonna lose. I love this game. I just love it. Oh wait, we saw Lucario. Hold up. This match ain't over yet. I could go Lucario. I doubt you have Protect. I could just get rid of Whimsicott. I mean, you're gonna go for Hyper Voice. Um, We kind of just need to waste out Tailwind turns though. have Endeavor, though. Yeah, we, we have to get rid of Wimscott. We have to get rid of Wimscott. Because if I don't get rid of Wimscott, it just starts Endeavoring onto me. And it's just a big-time problem. It's just a big-time problem. So I'm going to go for Bullet Punch here into you. Um, if I can, I'd love to just go for another Heat Wave or even a Sludge Wave. Just go Heat Wave here. And look to just get rid of this Wimscott. Yeah, we have to get rid of this Wimscott. So I totally forgot we had Lucario in the back end. That is so beautiful. <clears throat> <clears throat> so saving that Lucario, really good for us. Hyper Voice gonna fly here, probably pick up the double KO. Correct statement. Yeah, and now I think there's one turn left in Tailwind. Hopefully I'm correct on that, because I can protect, get my guts triggered, and then maybe just go for... I could maybe just go for a Sword Stance this turn if I want to. I feel like this is cutting close. I feel like this is cutting real close. It's cutting it close. We have EQ. We have Facade. I think Facade should do enough damage, right? How many turns does this Tailwind? How many turns we got? One. Okay, beautiful. So one turn left in Tailwind. We're going to go for the Protect here. We're going to waste out the last turn in Tailwind. What a solid first match. But that Endeavor, ridiculous. Ridiculous. But to be honest, we'd probably be sitting in a better position if we didn't miss that Heat Wave. 
Because if you think about it, if we didn't miss the heat wave, Whimscott dies a turn earlier, then I can E speed or bullet punch into Ursaluna here, chunking up some damage. So if this facade doesn't KO this Ursaluna, then I can blame the loss on heat wave missing. But I think we should be fine here. We played this one really well. We did play this one really well. So facade is going to get boosted double damage. It's going to do more damage than EQ. So I'm going to stick with facade. I'm going to throw it into this slot. He's going to go for a blood move, which actually probably KOs us, right? This could be bad. This could be bad. Can you soak? On three. Hold up. I need you, facade. I love you. I love you. Thank the Lord we won this game. Because I deserve that win all day. Three HP with the Ursaluna. We catch a big time dub in match number one. What a solid start to today's video. Going 1-0 and, and having a solid match with our opponent. Came down to the wire, Ursaluna on 3 HP, and Endeavor coming out from the Whimsicott, making it a good match. That was crazy. I wasn't expecting that Endeavor. But we're going up against an Articuno team right here with Snow Warning Ninetales. So they can set the snow. I am going to go into my Ogre Pond turn 1, because Ogre Pond can hit these guys very, very hard. So I like Ogre Pond. They could maybe intimidate me. Which is a little bit of a problem. So I kind of want to go into Lucario here as well. So Lucario, Ogre Pond. Going to be a solid lead for us. And then in the back end, we could just go Iron Moth and Primarina. That's something I actually like. So no Trick Room users here. We're going into our other four Pokemon without Trick Room. And I think this could work out pretty well for us. I do like our lead. I do like our lead. If they want to intimidate me with Arcanine, Ogre Pond will take the Intimidate. If they want to set the Snow with uh, Ninetales. Then we can actually just uh, maybe Terrasilize Ogre Pond. Start hitting hard at the same time. So I like these Pokemon that we have. I really do. I really do. Especially with the Choice Band Lucario. So clutch. Just such a good Pokemon. And thank the Lord we actually saved Lucario in that last match. Because if we didn't, we would just got Endeavored. We would have game set match. But Lucario able to pull a punch and start ripping. But they're going to bring out the Snow Combo. Ready to rock. Snow Combo is here. Now Lucario probably doesn't outspeed Ninetales. Let's be honest here. But I feel like we should Terrasilize and go after Ninetales and maybe just double down into Ninetales at this point. I think we should double down Ninetales. I don't think it protects. I think if anyone protects, it could be the bird. Because it is four times weak to, to uh, ice moves. But I'm going to double down into Ninetales here. Hopefully no protect comes out here. And we are going to Terrasilize Ogre Pine just so we have some speed on our hands. Because my whole thing is here, I don't want them setting up a war. I just want to outspeed with the first turn priority move, outspeed with this plus one boost, try to KO this nine tails, and go from there. So that's 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 the hopes here. That is the hopes. And they're gonna actually terrasilize as well. Show me it being the bird. Is it the bird? Make it be the bird. It's the bird. Cool. So the bird's gonna go for a terror type here. Gonna go into straight ice. So I think it's just looking to drop me with blizzards. But good thing I did terrasilize my ogre pond here as well, because ogre pond. Is part grass type. Well, not anymore. The bull punch flies out here. It is doing massive damage, and everything's working out even better than I expected it to be. Bullet punch K Owen to Nine Tails. I believe it's four times super effective. And I really doubled down into it because of the uh maybe focus ash. And then Ivy Cudgel follows through and picks up a double KO. I forgot to get my charger. Give me a second. There we go. Got the charger. Yeah, I told you guys I was going to get the charger at the end of the first match, but totally forgot. What a hot start in the second match right here. Big time double KO. Ivy Cudgel and Bullet Punch. We love it. So now they go Raging Bolt and into their final Pokemon. Going to be Rillaboom here. Really Rillaboom. The Really Rillaboom flies out here. I could actually swap Lucario, but I think just doing damage is going to be your best bet. Right, we do have Primarina in the back end. Um, I'm just gonna spiky shield. Let's drop a bullet punch, right? Yeah, we have Primarina and Iron Moth in the back end, which I like. I'm gonna bullet punch. I'm gonna, just gonna look to do as much damage as we can onto this Rillaboom, and they just cancel battle after turn one. We love it. Hopping into our final match, and we won that last match in one turn. Love to see it. You guys love to see it, but um. We're going up against a Komo O team here, alongside with Ting Lu, which has been a decent combo in Regulation F. Ting Lu's great at dropping the special attack stats. Komo O can boost his defense stats, and he's kind of a tough Pokemon to get off the field. But they also have Trick Room. They could pop it. They have Amoongus. They can do kind of a lot here. So I think for our lead, I kind of like our Meteor Beam. 
Pokemon, right? I kind of like Meteor Beam here, so I am going to end up leading that. And I think I might end up leading it with Primarina here, too. Just two Pokemon that can boost special attack. And then we'll bring in Lucario and Ogre Pond in the back end. And that should work well for us, right? I don't know, but we're 2-0. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record for today's video. You love to see it. But if you guys haven't checked out my last video showcasing Psyduck, I'm telling you guys, definitely do it. Psyduck went off. It was insane. And, uh, yeah, I said Psyduck. I just didn't expect it to be that good. Psyduck killed it. So, again, check out that Psyduck video if you haven't done so already. But they're going to end up leading Fluttermane and the Duck. The Fluttermane and the Duck come out here. Um, I could try slash grass if I want to, but I think it's safe for us to just go in the Meteor Beam here in the Fluttermane. And pop a Hyper Voice just to get these uh, plus one special attack boosts. So we could actually pop Trick Room, which is probably going to happen. Which isn't too bad. I mean, it's a little rough. I wish I brought my Ursa Luna in this case. But I feel like if we can get rid of Fluttermane this turn, whoo, that would be nice. That would be really nice. Because then we have Lucario in the back end. First turn priority could be our friend. And he's going to throw a Moon Blast in this slot, which actually chunks up some nice damage. Meteor Beam going to fly through here. Do some big time damage onto Fluttermane. Furthermore, we're gonna we're definitely gonna KO Fluttermane this turn, which is awesome. We love it. I love how he just turns into like a star with six points. <laughs> it's just so funny. Hyper Voice gonna clean up the Fluttermane, drop the P2, and now our Throat Spray is gonna activate. Having two Pokemon plus one on special attack is so I wonder what P2 is gonna do. Do you have Thunderbolt or are you just gonna pop Trick Room? I would think you would pop Trick Room, right? No, you're just gonna go for Tire Blast. This might KO me. No, it doesn't. That's massive. So no Trick Room. Both my Pokemon still on the field. It's huge. It is huge. It is huge. So if I wanted to, I could actually just go into a uh, a Protect and Sludge Wave. Depending on who they bring out here. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see who they want to bring out here. It's going to be Komo. -O. Okay, so Komo -O is Fighting and Dragon. It does usually have the Seal Terror type, which it might pop right here right now. So if it does, I think we just throw Heat Wave. I think we go Heat Wave Moon Blast into this slot. I think we do that. I think we go Heat Wave Moon Blast just in case the Terror type. And he just ends up protecting. Kind of smart. Kind of smart. Kind of smart. So P2 definitely probably going to take out my Primarina or Papa Turkum. I think it's their option at this point. And let's see. Let's see because this is actually a big point in the battle. That's a big point in the battle. I think I would pop Trick Room. And no, they're trying to take out Primarina. That's fine. I'd rather them just take out Primarina. Let's be honest here. I'd rather them just take out Primarina than take in Speed Control. Because from here, I can just go into Cornerstone Ogre Pond. Actually, would I rather go into Lucario? Yeah. I'd rather go into Lucario. I'd rather go into Lucario because I can freely go into Sludge Wave. Which I'd rather do. I'm going to go Sludge Wave here. Not affect Lucario and then just close combat the Como o slot with Choice Band. With the band full of choices. We love it. <laughs> we love it. I love Choice Band Lucario. It's move pool just it just fits choice band so perfectly. So we're choice banded into close combat. Sludge wave gonna be able to fly here. He's gonna withdraw P2. P2 gone. And he gonna go into Incineroar. I don't, I don't mind it. I got inner focus. I don't mind it. I don't mind it one bit. I don't mind it one bit. Inner focus, baby. Sludge wave flying. Freely. Stab, plus one. Love the damage output. Close combat. Bye-bye, Komo. -O. Get him on out of here. Now we're sitting in a pristine position. A pristine position. Really solid position. I could actually swap Lucario, getting my defensive stats back if I want to. But at that point, I would just go into Ogre Pond. Hmm. They're going to go into P2. I'm just going to rip another Sludge Wave. I mean, you could fake out my... The thing is, you could fake out my Iron Moth, but if you fake out my Iron Moth, you lose this game. Because then I just close combat your Incineroar, and your Incineroar dies. That's fine. So they don't they don't go into that. We got them both down to red. Close combat outspeeds regardless. I thought maybe Incineroar could outspeed Lucario, but no. And we take this match, no problem. So solid, another 3-0 perfect record for you guys. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content. We've been killing it. Killing it in our matches on the channel. And I'm super excited. The big video I've been talking about for weeks now, 
I actually sent it out to my video editor, so he's finishing up editing very soon, and we should have that video out within a week or two. So hopefully you guys are ready for that. I cannot wait to actually bring out that video for you guys. But um, from here, we're just going to go for another Sludge Wave. We're just going to go into Close Combat. That's going to be Game, Set, Match. GG's. That is how it's done. Come on, man. That's too easy. Choice Band Lucario and Cornerstone Ogre Pond team thriving out in today's video. Going 3-0, grabbing ourselves yet another perfect record. Love this team so much. Yet other Pokemon like Iron Moth, which we used a good bit today. Primarina got some love in. And we also used Crest and Ursaluna in match number one. So got to use every single Pokemon on this team and still thrive out with it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.